welcome back to the channel. Um, today you join me in tying the March Brown Spider. Um, I was talking to a, a few friends the other day about the, the start of the brown trout season starting. Um, and it's been a few weeks away now. Um, and we were talking about kind of our first methods that we jumped to. Um, and in recent years, streamers are becoming more and more popular uh, for that early season trout. But there's still a lot to be said for fishing early season with spiders. Um, such a such a fun way and such a an easy way to adapt to the river that you're fishing. Um, so, like I say, give it a watch, see how you feel, and hopefully you'll tie a few of these up. So, we're going to start in the vice. We've got ourselves a B175 in a size 12. The thread that we'll be using is the Unithread. 8 out in red. Um, rib for the fly, I'm going to be using a Vineyard Micro Glint. Um, and then obviously we've got a partridge feather for the hackle. And for the dubbing, I've actually got some natural hairs here um, and some brown hairs here with a little bit of a, a UV flash to it. So we'll combine those two to, to create the dubbing for this fly, which I'll, I'll show you as we go through. So to begin, we're going to catch our thread in just at the eye. Um, like I say, I am going to use red for mine, but if you want to go for something a little bit more natural, a brown thread or something, that's fine. So to start, I'm going to take on about five, five thread wraps before I take my ribbon. Like I say, it's the, the micro glint. It just gives the fly a nice little bit of flash. So catch that in and continue with your thread wraps rearward. So you get roughly to the, the point of the hook. At this stage, uh, we're gonna add our, our, dubbing bo our dub body. So like I say, it is a um, natural hair's ear blend that I've got, um, but I like to just add a little bit of a brown hair's ear um, dubbing just to darken it up a little bit. So all I do is I'll take the two, two blends um, and just pass them between alternate thumb alternate thumbs just to kind of mix it up a little bit it just gives that fly a little a little bit of a darker appearance so get the ribbon out of the way so catch your dubbing on slide it up and again you're going to want to create a slight taper into the body and keep bringing that dub body up and so you're about five five mil or so i'd say from the, the eye of the hook at which point we can remove that get these last few fibers caught in so with the rib um like i say it's a micro glint so i like to add a few turns at the back of the fly um just to give it a little bit of something at the back and then we'll bring the the ribbon through the fly Catch that in with a couple of turns and one in front before we trim that away. Now if you want, you can come in obviously with your bit of Velcro just to tease out a few of the a few of the fibres. If we just stroke everything back out of the way. So now we're added ready adding. We're now ready to add our hackle. So like I say it is a partridge. Um, and I've gone for a partridge, it's got a few brown speckles to it. Um, when you select the, the feather, if you offer up the fibres, okay, you want them to be coming just to the back of that body, which that is. Um, and unlike a, a cock hackle, um, partridge and other soft hackles obviously come from game birds, and they tend to be much more soft, obviously, hence the name. Um, but they've got that kind of webby. Webby fibres. So catch them in with your hackle pliers um, to give you your tining point. Once after you've got that, offer it up and secure that with a few. If you do my thread, secure that with a few wraps. You can look to trim that waist now. 
trim it as close to the eye as you can. Strike some of those fibers out of the way. And just neaten it up a little bit. Now, when it comes to putting the, the hackle onto the fly, uh, we need to remember that we need to take each wrap forward and we also need to remember that it is a soft hackle. So we don't want to overdress it too much with the hackle. Okay, so start to spin around the thread. So we'll bring it round so we're ready to start catching in. So stroking your fibres back helps you to prevent catching them in. And then with the next wrap, we have to bring it forward like so before we, we catch it in with our thread. So one wrap, two wraps, and then we can bring it back. At which point it might look a little bit messy, but we're going to be able to neaten that up a little bit now. So with your hacker pliers off, stroke all of the fibres back out of the way and you can start to create your head. And like I say, this is why I've chosen to use a red thread. Just gives the fly that little, little target spot. So we'll finish that then with a five turn whip. So three, four and five. We can trim away our tine thread. And if we take the stalk of the, the hackle and we pull it in a sharp downward force, which it doesn't want to do, we can actually break that away, but mine didn't want to do that, so I'll have to come in with the scissors and give it a little trim. So there you have it, the March Brown Spider. Like I say, a really fun pattern to, to use early season. Um, and it, it gets those early season trout feeding. So all that's left to do finally is just to add a little little head cement to it. So I've got the, the vineyard clear. Just add a little bit on with the needle. When you come to do this, you can then obviously remove a few of the just dry fibres if you feel you need to. There's one there, and there's another one there. Um, and there you go, yeah. So there's a March Brown Spider. Like I say, you can fish this pattern year round, um, and it works just as, just as well. So I hope you've enjoyed that. 